All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got another play out of the single back tight slots. This is the best formation in the game right now. I'm using the Saints playbook, but I'm pretty sure I've been mean, being told that this is in uh, the Jets playbook, which is another popular playbook. Uh, but either way, I mean, if you watch my gameplay footage, and I'll try to pop up some links for gameplay footage as I go along, you'll see that I pretty much run this entire game, this scheme that I'm about to complete show you here, um, that it just nobody really has an answer for it. It's to the point where I almost feel bad running it consistently in my gameplay footage to the point where I think people might get bored of seeing the same plays. But it is what it is, man. Once you find something that's this good, you got to make, you got to run it until somebody figures out how to stop it. And I mix in some other formations. Like I have a really good series of plays out of this that I use sometimes, you know, and there's there's another, um, I definitely have a progression. I have some plays out of this that I use sometimes. Um, Saints ebook, by the way, if you, guys, if you guys want a good ebook or a good playbook, a full breakdown in the description, check that out. It's definitely worth it. It's what I'm using right now. Um, and I just, I don't, you know, I'm just kicking butt to be honest with you. So check that out and you guys can run the exact same offense that I do. But this one right here, this is the first down, second down, third down, fourth down, go to play uh, series that I use. I didn't plan for this to be a two-part series, by the way. Um, I, I released one of these a, like a week ago, um, and I, I didn't intend to do any more, but then I found that one of the plays that I put out, and I'll pop a link for that for the first video, but it should be popping up now. But the one of the plays that I put out, the halfback wheel, uh, which was the basis of the entire video, I found afterwards that it's also a really good one-play touchdown with a few minor adjustments. So I'm going to go over that, and then I'm also going to go over another play that I've been using um, to, to basically catch people off guard. I mean, there's so many good plays in this. I really got to check out the Jets next because there might be even more but I've put out this is the fourth series of videos I put out from this and I'll try to continue to pop up those uh, you know the uh, the plays from that but let's go ahead and let's pick the halfback wheel um, this particular play is a one play touchdown the way I'm going to set up is a one play touchdown against any uh, cover three or cover one man um, it's not against cover two but I'll show you the adjustments for cover two it's basically unstoppable if you can read a defense and I'll go over that a little bit in this video so on defense we're going to start off with a cover three just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about um, we'll go ahead and we'll pick the um, uh, it doesn't really matter I guess the cover three sky and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll move the ball back Somebody showed me this trick. I didn't know how to do it early on. A lot of people keep telling me in the comments, if you hold if you hold L2 and hit the left stick down, uh, click the left stick uh, in, I mean, um, you can move the ball, which thank you for everybody that kept telling me until I actually instituted it in my game. So let's go ahead. Like I said originally, if you can read a defense, anytime you see a single high safety, it's this play will work as a one play touchdown anytime you see one guy all the way at the back by himself it's a one play touchdown if you do this correctly i don't know if i i I'm actually not sure if i did a good job uh with the quarterback you need a quarterback that's mobile and you need a quarterback that has a good arm uh but either way uh there's i'll show you the cover two adjustments too if you if you see two two deep safeties i have a way of running this play that's good against uh cover two and cover four but any, if it's a one high it's a cover one or cover three and this play will work real simple adjustment all i'm going to do is put my tight end on a uh, you can do it one of two ways you can put him on a flat and then you put again on an out route you can do that i'm pretty sure you can do that backwards where you can have fleener on a flat and then get on an out route and it should have the same effect um so you know I've, I've done it both ways as i just messed up there putting him on a uh, comeback uh, but this is the setup this here is all you need to do what i also like to do i like to motion over the running back and then pass block him because i'm going to be rolling out in that direction um, I actually should go ahead and move the ball to the sideline, too. It's going to be beneficial to have as much space as possible for your receiver. Yeah, so what I'm really going to do here is I'm going to... The, the motion for the back is really just to help out with blocking. I just want to wait until that defensive end is engaged and that hopefully that that uh, that running back is, can help me out. Um, so I want to get wide. And the second I do, if he, if he gets off like that, it's a problem. But you know what? We're going to catch and run this. Didn't get the touchdown because I was running for my life, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Hopefully at the beginning of the video, I put some uh, scenarios from my gameplay when it works out. Um, just so you guys can see that. But here we go. Now the, the guy's engaged inside. I'm going to get outside. Like I said, you really want um, your fastest dude here. Finally, we get that look. Like I said, if I had a little bit of a faster guy other than 93 speed, he'd be, he'd be easy, even easier. So obviously it doesn't really matter whether um, the tight end is... Um, you know, the, you need two guys pulling the coverage down, whether it's a running back in a flat like I did here and Thomas on an out route or the tight end, um, you know, in, in, in the uh, flat route. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and motion hike him so he helps me out on the block. There you can see we double that tight end. We seal that. 
and uh, I you get the uh, throw up top and there you go so it's really you, there's a couple adjustments you can make for your blocking system for your blocking scheme but it's still really successful so you can run the uh, play two different ways based off your blocking I didn't mean to motion him out that messes that up uh, because I got to motion out uh, Flaner. Plus, I mean, a lot of the running plays, if you watch that first video, and you've probably seen online, there's a lot of motion involved in the run plays anyway. So this here actually works better to hide what you're doing um, compared to the, the other plays that I've showed in the system. And I could have, like, really floated that, but you know what? It still worked out. You can see how that cornerback's down. Touchdown, baby. I don't care. Yeah, I'll show you the cover two adjustments real quick, too. That's if you see two safeties deep like this. Thomas, I mean, running this play just like this, cover two, Thomas is going to be really good up the middle. I mean, look how he just splits that. So that's a cover two beater right there. This is if you don't see too high safety. But uh, your other cover two beater is you motion over a guy the same way um, you, you do on most of these plays. Like I said, pretty much all these plays I have this motion. And you can put him on a flower out when he gets over. Now you have a cover two beater concept to the outside. You can also motion hike it. So that looks like the toss play. Like I said, I didn't go over the toss play in this video. You have to watch part one for that if you didn't see that. But um, the toss play, you do a motion hike where basically you can do the exact same thing here. Um, and then you can see how he just gets open in the flat uh, the same way. It's better if you stop him though. You can see how just having multiple short routes makes this play um, really effective against cover three or cover one. So I'll go ahead and run this one more time. Like I said, I like this motion because a lot of the plays from this system have a motion. So I'm probably going to do this. Uh, more often than not um, with this tight end so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna chuck it up I was actually thrown on the run anyway and it didn't seem to matter I didn't get the ball out there like I wanted to but you can see how successful this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on it's really advantageous to set your feet uh, set for Breeze to set his feet but you can see how uh, and he, Breeze doesn't have the best mobility or arm so if you have like my ultimate team I have Mariota it's way easier um, if you have Cam Newton or something like that you know you see with good throw power and good mobility you're going to have these plays much easier so we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next play yeah I don't want to spend too much time on the, uh, the cover 2 adjustment because I did a whole video on that already um, <clears throat> but basically there's only one more play and it's a play that a lot of people are going to know already but uh, it's you've never seen these adjustments because I just came up with them. It's the mesh, the double drags, mesh double drags. This was like so cheese. It still works pretty good as is, but I'm going to make some adjustments to make it even better. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. We're going to go random nickel this time. Um, if it's a cover three, which this definitely doesn't look like it, Gin's pretty good just right up the seam. You can run this play just like this. I mean, this has been a successful play for a long time. There he actually dropped back, almost got me. Uh, but I still get 10 yards. Yeah, this play here, I use it as a nice misdirection concept. Um, when people start really over uh, exaggerating their coverages towards the uh, toss play and the, and the, uh, the pass play that I put out, um, I'll start basically running this and then I'll just hit them with this, uh, this triangle route the other way. You can see how like that was a man coverage. You can see how everybody's pulling away and he just got an alley by himself on the open on the back end side. Like I said, I'll try to put together a little montage of gameplay at the beginning of me running this successfully, but you guys can always check out my gameplay footage. But basically, if you motion that guy over too and you don't see anybody's motion, you know right away it's a, it's a man cover or zone coverage. So, this is a really good route. Low that circle route, a pass lead outside. You can see how, just like um, some of my other places, he gets open for an easy catch and run. I don't know what that was, but anyway, I mean, again, uh, Thomas would have been the read again, but uh, like I said, this is a really good play. Once people start shifting to stop your run plays, uh, hitting them with this triangle route on the backside is really good, and then you have some other good routes. I mean, that Gin route is a better version of, uh, of, of an outside route of a, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a deep outside slant, I don't know, whatever, but uh, it's it's a really good version of that, so like here, we, now this should be a man because the guy motioned over again, I was wrong the one time, um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to we're gonna run to this dude, I floated it a little bit too dramatically, um, but I could have had a touchdown easy there, but it is what it is, so um, so that's the adjustments, I mean this play right here, like I said, this, is, this whole series is just all I'm really running right now, uh, the running back's pretty good too, this looks like a man though, so he's not going to be good against this, um, I don't know how Kukli is just covering receivers. Holy God, he's not even healthy right now. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll show it on the goal line. Uh, it's still a really good goal line play because you have multiple crossing routes over the middle. Um, I just scored a touchdown with this not too long ago. Yeah, I don't typically um, have to motion this guy over. The uh, the drags still are, are pretty, pretty good uh, options, um, especially on the goal line. I don't find that the goal line, most people run uh, hard flats, so this circle route is typically going to be covered. Um, it actually wasn't there, so you got to pay attention to that. But that's a good goal line play. All right, so that's it. That's uh, it's a two-play scheme. Uh, like I said, I didn't originally intend 
to, uh, to record the second one, but after I did the first one, um, I realized there's an easy cover three beater, so I had to get, had to pass it on to you guys. Uh, if you guys want to see, I actually had an idea to do all of my one play touchdown uh, plays in one video. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button or comment in the comment section. I probably have like five one play touchdown plays, maybe maybe four. I'm not really sure, um, but I have one for every coverage. So if you guys run custom books and you want to see that, so you can institute them all in your custom book, uh, let me know in the comment section or like say hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.